I've been a member of the Conservative Party for about half a century now, and the thing I've enjoyed most about it over the years, I think, is the air of keen volunteers. Uh, I still like going out canvassing. I still like uh, going walk about through shopping centres and shaking people by the hand. And I'm always amazed by the way in which you're surrounded by keen members of your own association or some nearby association, all throwing themselves in to the chaotic business of campaigning and working for a political party. The next campaign we'll be taking part in is rather an odd one. It's all about electoral reform. And we're meant to be having a referendum. We will have a referendum on the 5th of May, asking people to vote yes or no in favour or against the alternative vote. It suddenly gives much greater weight to votes for all the fringe parties, the single issue parties. Your second or your third preference can count as much as your first preference. A present system gives the voter a clear choice of a party and a manifesto which they put in office or they reject. The alternative vote is also pretty complicated, which is probably why hardly anybody uses it. There are three countries in the world that use the alternative vote system. One is Fiji, uh, another is Papua New Guinea, the third is Australia, but most Australians want to change it. We're going to have to campaign particularly hard this year to remind the public that the AV referendum is on the same day as local government elections in many places, but on its own in some others. It really does matter because it could change permanently the way in which we select governments in this country. So, when we're out campaigning for our councillors or when we're out trying to get Conservatives to turn out, make sure we do get a no result to the alternative voting system in the referendum on the 5th of May. You can find out how to get involved on conservatives.com forward slash no to AV.